Good morning everybody, it's Dale here with the Santa Cells Houses team. I'm on the shores of Lake Huron today in gorgeous Godrich. Rode the uh, Guelph to Godrich Rail Trail yesterday on my bike. I uh, did that, a little tired today, but uh, it went well for the most part. Uh, yeah, check out the scenery here. We've got the uh, beach house restaurant behind me, the old train station, boardwalk, Lake Huron behind me there. Let's flip the camera around. So off in the distance there, you've got the uh, Sifto salt mines. They've got uh, mines that go way out, like several kilometers into Lake Huron here. So a pretty cool spot. Come down, check it out. Support your uh, local areas here. Okay. Let's get into the numbers. So in the past seven days in London, we saw 240 new listings hit the system. So that's down a bit. Um, I think we're starting to creep into some summer, typical summer numbers where listings, it's still steady but it's not as busy as it was in the spring or as it will be in the fall. So uh, still lots of selection out there for buyers. We also saw 44 conditional sales. So again, conditions are starting to sneak into uh, offers more frequently than they had been over the last three plus months. So that's a good thing for everybody. I think it uh, is creating more of a balanced market in that sense. And we had 140 sales. So still the, uh, the new listings are outpacing the sales by about 100, 100 plus, give or take. So that means we're still gaining inventory. So just a reminder, back in January, we had 178 active listings in London. Now we have over 1,200. So that obviously, uh, it's a huge jump in a short amount of time. And it's giving buyers a lot more options to choose from. It's giving sellers more competition. So sellers are not uh, typically seeing those same prices that their neighbors were getting back in January, February, March. Uh, prices have dropped a bit. Interest rates are also climbing, right? So that's also reducing buyer affordability. Um, maybe not immediately. However, it's starting to happen uh, because most buyers, if they're locked into a rate hold, usually get 90 or 100 day rate hold. So some of them are, are still locked into their lower rates uh, before they climbed. However, those will be changing and shifting over the next few months, right? So I suspect prices may slide a bit more. Um, fantastic time to buy though, and uh, still a great time to sell as well. And uh, yeah, just reach out to us if you have any questions about buying, selling, or investing in real estate. Reach out, we're happy to help. Thanks, have a great day everybody.